Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. This is my final trailer breakdown of the season, so don't go anywhere, because this Sunday we've got the season finale of Season 4. I'm super excited, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos over the summer, because we're going to be doing loads of Supergirl Season 5 videos. I'm going to be at San Diego Comic Con when they do the Supergirl panel, when they drop the footage, the first trailer, I'm going to be right there in the hall, so excited. I'm going to be asking if I can record the panel and maybe I'll upload it on my channel. That is the plan. Also, this week I'm going to be at the Ultimates in England and Kyla Lee's going to be there, Nicole Maines, Florian Lima and everyone. Tons of Supergirl people, so I'm sure I have a video out to do with that. If you see me there, please be sure to say hi. Also, I'm at MCM London Comic Con. Tyler Hoechlin's there, who plays Superman and Supergirl. And also, the whole Arrow cast, basically, was Stephen Amell. So, if you see me at any of those events, I've got lots of big events coming up. Please be sure to say hi. I'm super excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. So, we're going to be breaking down the trailer for episode 22. Not 23. There's not 23 episodes in this season. Okay, so this is the episode where we get the return of Lex Luthor, and so the first shot of the trailer teases this, so we get the shot from behind, he's in the White House, you see him from behind, and I'm really excited to see the return of Lex Luthor, and this trailer gives me a little bit of hope that we may see Red Daughter again, I thought they did such a good job with Red Daughter, and yes, I would have liked to see her longer, I just think maybe the death at the end of last episode, maybe a red herring, I really do hope it was a red herring because I think Red Daughter is amazing and I think it was a little bit anticlimactic if that's the last time we see her but this trailer shows a shot of Red Daughter, we'll get to that later. Okay so we see this shot and this is of Supergirl looking into the air so this is obviously Lex flying because we see his Lexo suit at many points in this trailer and we go over, we see back in National City, Supergirl's flying through the sky, it's a little bit blurry because it's out of focus, but then we see this shot right here, and this is Red Daughter, she's got the wig on and everything, so I don't remember seeing this shot, I could be completely wrong, but this may be confirming that Red Daughter is still alive, and I have this suspicion that Lex didn't actually kill her, that it's a clone or, you know, he's very tricksy, and as he says in the trailer in the voice narration everything I've done has been strategic to lead up to this very moment and I think the strategic idea would be not to kill Supergirl but to pretend to kill Supergirl and also you have to remember the Red Daughter suit was on her on her dead body so why the hell would Supergirl be wearing that they may question that in terms of the Americans but I, I think the because the president is working for Lex, he's not going to question that. So, I'm a little bit conflicted. I think there is a chance that Red Daughter is still alive. But, for now, let's move on to the next shot. And so, Supergirl, in the voice narration, is saying, I have to stop him. So, she's talking about Lex. And we, th we see the shot, and she's on the shorefront in National City. And she's getting ready to fight, essentially. That is her fight position. And you see Lex, in this next shot, break through a wall with these massive like things on his arms I'm not sure what they are but you know some sort of device or weapon and we go on to the next shot we see this Kazian officer screaming so I guess this could be Lex but I think this leads me to believe that maybe Red Daughter is still alive maybe this is a flashback or something okay so we move on to the next shot we see these strangers they look up and they get scared with the camera moving down so it infers that someone is moving down maybe this is Red Daughter don't know okay so next shot is amazing and the camera pans into Supergirl as she's about to fight Lex Luthor super excited for that moment okay so we see this Lex is flying with his Lexo suit and his mask goes on I just thought that was interesting to point out and Agent Liberty so he's going to be finished in this episode don't know if he's gonna die what's gonna happen to him but He's dragged a bit this season, so I don't really want to see him back again next season, I think. And right here, she's fighting him. She's punching him in the face. Looks really badass. And they haven't fought in quite a while because, you know, he's in a place of high priority in terms of, you know, his ranking. And we go to the White House. You see the painting behind of one of the presidents. 
I don't know who it is because, you know, I'm not American. But you see Lex and obviously with him being framed in the same shot as one of the presidents, you can infer that they're sort of leaning towards he's in control of the whole country, he is like the president, and in the comics many times, Lex has actually became president of America, so that's very interesting, and they're definitely playing into that. And so she's here with Lex, and I'm talking about Eve, so Eve is back, and I have really liked how Eve has been a massive part of this season, I think that's very exciting, because she was very underutilized the last few seasons. She had some great moments in season 2 when she first came, you know, with mon that classic scene. And some various other ones. I think she's a very good character. Okay, so we go to this base and it's being blown up. You see James and Alex working together. I'm really liking Alex recently. You know, Alex is my favourite character bar Supergirl on the show. So, I wasn't such a big fan at the start of the season because Alex was just basically an agent. She didn't really do much else. But since the addition of Kelly, she's been able to do other stuff and the adoption stuff last few episodes has been great and especially that last scene with Supergirl last episode oh my god best scene of the season loved it okay so last shot we see Lex and in this trailer he says soon Supergirl will be dead and then it synced up in the edit he says boom 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 and you see the explosions go off behind Alex and James and he says nothing will stop me and he lifts his glass up very classic Lex Luthor so that's very exciting. I really like this trailer, I thought it was really well edited, it was very well synced. So let's move on to talk about some of the photos they released for the finale, and this gives a bit more to do with some of these scenes as to what's happening. Okay, so the first photo is of Lex, with Eve, obviously his assistant, and you have Lena's mother right there, and so Lena is here as well, so they've called for a technically a family meeting in the White House and so Lena and his mother are obviously trying to stop him and you see this photo right here where he is being this power figure of authority essentially acting as the president so I'm wondering if the president's gonna get killed by Lex I think that would be a great moment it will be very satisfying for us because no one likes the president in this show he is a prick and a half he's working for Lex I think he deserves to be <laughs> killed by Lex I know that sounds very very so sort of sadistic but you know I wouldn't be too upset about that okay so the next photo we have Nia and Sean so they're going through that sort of slave trade kind of thing where they're taking aliens off world and that was due to Brainiac actually having a malfunction he turned more into his robotic side of himself more like the other versions of Brainiac so his more evil side of his family has taken over. Okay, so very interesting photos right here. We have Supergirl, and she's in the Power Rangers suit that we saw at the start of the season. That's what we call the suit because she looks like a Power Ranger. But in these photos, with it off, she looks really freaking cool. I just hope they don't put the helmet on because I think the helmet looks a bit dumb, if I'm honest. That's the one thing about it. But I think the suit looks really cool, so... I really like these photos so she's here in this empty sort of hall and the next photo is of her again in the Power Ranger suit looks so freaking cool without the helmet and so she is making a face of anger and so she's obviously in a fight scene of sorts probably with Lex because you see this next shot he's got that same armor on like his hand like the weapon not sure what to call it but it's a gun of sorts it looks like and maybe it's something to do with kryptonite I would probably suppose so if it's Lex and so he's attempting to shoot her or something and that's why she's in the suit because I think it's kryptonite or something like kryptonite bullets so moving on to the next shot an amazing shot again with Kara in the Power Rangers suit and she is standing in this place I don't really know where it is it seems like it's maybe the same place but it looks like there's bullet holes on the wall so that's interesting maybe Lex has been firing right here and you see that there is like a window projecting light from the top okay so moving on to the next photo so this leads on from what we saw in the trailer with Alex and James and you see James beating up some children of liberty and you see Kara and Alex finally back together I loved that scene last episode like I said best scene of the whole season with Supergirl being near death well basically dead and then she's able to absorb the sunlight and Alex remembering was just mind-blowing and so chilling that I got like goosebumps everywhere it was oh my god I just can't 
I'm I was speechless yesterday. I'm still speechless about it. It's so good. So it's so good to see them finally back together. Thank God. All right, moving on to the next photo, Agent Liberty at the shorefront. So this carries on from what was happening in the trailer with her fighting Agent Liberty and we see the children of Liberty around him in this last photo. So he seems very degraded and after what he found out last episode that he's been manipulated, he's obviously not going to be seemingly as bad, but I think he's going to aim his sort of threats at kind of anyone because he's just... You know, totally lost it. I think he's totally lost the plot. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been my trailer breakdown. Also, I broke down the photos. So please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you like this video. Also, subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you're at the Ultimates in Birmingham, MCM London, Comic Con in London, or San Diego Comic Con in the summer, please be sure to say hi to me if you do see me. You can find what I look like on Instagram. So that's at the DC TV show or on Twitter at the DC TV show. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at Comic-Con for the next trailer breakdown. But obviously I'll have my review and my ending breakdown because they always end in a cliffhanger. That will be out later next week because that's when the finale is coming out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.